Black Box Productions. This came across my desk. Oh, Baba, Baba, Baba. Uh, Eminem had declared Tupac Shakur the greatest songwriter of all time. Hmm. Now, a few thoughts uh, come to mind when I see this post. For one, I'll start here. Salute. If that is authentically Eminem's position, salute to him for coming to that conclusion because I would readily agree for many reasons. I would assume he is attempting to end the debate where he is, where he is, uh, where is him versus Tupac, if that's the question. Uh, perhaps I know he's intelligent enough to know he's implying the debate with Biggie as well. Now, this is if Eminem actually said that. He dig a lot. But anyway, um, I would agree, just based on, I'm going to use one record to establish this as a position. And something I heard the homie, rest in peace, neighborhood Nip say before he passed, before um, he dropped the Victory Lap album, um, um, rap niggas had recently been released and I remember he was in the studio he wasn't talking to me he was talking to somebody else and I was just at a distance over here and I heard him say like they were discussing and he said he declared that rap niggas was a great record it was before it had like really gathered a following and, and established a presence on the internet and in the streets as it had it was a Release re, 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 very recently released record, a record that I would have called because of the repetitive nature of the lyrics. I would have called a simple record. I heard Nipsey refer to it as a great record to whoever he was talking to, and then he went on to explain why he thought it was a great record. And he said it was because it's easy to remember and repeat. And it was like a statement that seemed um, braggish at one moment in the immediate next moment as he elaborated sounded so intelligent and he just said it like I say he wasn't talking to me but I overheard that and I think the greatest song if you had to go song for song if you had to pick the record for Tupac it would be Dear Mama and not only is it like the homie said easy to repeat and remember it also when it comes to audience, encompasses people. It's such a wide group of humans that will have interest in that record. Transcends so many um, demographics, genres, uh, races, um, genders. Anybody that has love for their mama, ever has had love for their mama, somebody else's mama, appreciate the love that mothers deserve whether they have they they've experienced it for themselves or not, wish they had a mother like that. They they respect the record. They love it. What people don't know, I'm not sure if it still holds the title. But years after Pac had passed and the record had been released, it held the um, UK's all-time number one record. I mean, bigger than all the Michael Jackson record, records, all the bigger than all the U2 records bigger than all the Kiss records, the Prince records, all the records that you can possibly, the Beatles, imagine being the UK's all-time number one record. Um, it was um, Dear Mama. When you go to Eminem's catalog and you think about the records that you would have to give him, his biggest stripes for songwriting would be records. I think if you would just go over the whole career, one of the biggest records would be Stan. Um, to be able to, at the, it was a different time, but to be able to manipulate the mainstream airwaves to have these unorthodox amount of verses, this non-rhythmic pattern, and telling this story that, you know, who knows what's the appropriate category to put that story in. But for that to be a number one record, you gotta also realize the machine, the influence, the unit when it comes to the defiant ones, the shock of 
that such a being such a um, urban brand coming with such a unique non-urban non-black artist all that combined to get a fact why Eminem was able to pull off what he was able to pull off so minus all those factors to toot with Tupac just being somebody who had a voice doing a record like Dear Mama I think it solidifies him over any record I couldn't imagine the record you would submit for Biggie to even have him at that discussion although he was an amazing lyricist he had an um, extremely immaculate imagination and he had a way of expressing his imagination in a you know the boy had pen I listened to a lot of um, Ready to Die and The Life After Death the double one the one that dropped right after he passed oh, my mama mama I soaked all that up but um I just I say I agree with Eminem on that because I know that's the perspective he has to be speaking from. Otherwise, he's saying all hell the king, giving the final say so, and I don't think that's what he's saying on oh, my mama, mama. So yeah, I agree. I agree with it. What about y'all though? Do y'all agree? Disagree? Do that make sense? Am I forgetting a record that either? Eminem or um, Big E could submit. Am I forgetting one? Before I would um, submit a Big E record, just me personally, I would submit a Jay-Z record. If not, you must love me. When you compare it to the totality of Jay-Z's catalog, and you just know how the gang go, not accusing him, but just it makes you run across your mind like did somebody else scribble that if you just look at the detail the way it, it was a conceptual song um I, unless he really shot his bro i think that might be a real life account so maybe he did pin it but that was like a hell of a record i like like the records like girls 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 those are like records that i think might be mentioned that was a um uh, a very well written record and then um, he's also been able to express um, show himself um, to step outside his personality um, encompass Dr. Dre and Snoop on the Steel Dre record and uh, so I would think he would be mentioned before Biggie he probably would humbly degree, disagree just based on <clears throat> always trying to big up big as he always has, but you know, that's just me saying so, my my opinion. But dear mama, definitely on oh, my mama mama put Tupac name in the uh discussion and I think solidifies his spot at the top on oh, my mama. Snake with that puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPR, Spotter Low. You know I'm in the black box, had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All right.